Now, mince, it says there, and I'm not lisping, it's not, not trying to say mince, but actually minimum thickness, that's what that's short for. And there it says 4.5 millimetre. Now, that's the thickness of the disc. Perhaps you knew that, but how are you going to measure it? This, in my hand here, is a vernier gauge. Very useful for such things. Just put the gauge over there, clamp it up, take it off. Look at that, 5 millimetre. Bags of meat left on that one. But a vernier gauge is also useful for measuring the depth of holes because it's got a little prod on the end of it. You can just see it there. And it's very useful for measuring tread depth. I've got a depth gauge here as well, but you don't need that once you've got this. And this will only cost you about three quid. Just put it over the tread. Just make sure you're measuring it. There we are. And measure off just four millimetre. These are nearly new tyres, so that's great. Another little tip for you, lots of people don't know this, as they say, but bike tread depth, legal requirement is one millimetre, where on cars it's 1.6. But having said that, you'll find in your manufacturer's handbook, they normally say two millimetres. That's for safety reasons. But legal, you're OK with one mil.